Hey guys, so starting out on this project, every project, I thoroughly clean it. I get some pine saw or just some soap and water and a rag and I wipe it down thoroughly, um, clean it, make sure it's really clean, get any like grime or dirt off of it. I'm getting really all the way inside of there. And I also spray with Ray because you never know what can be living in there. Now I am removing the hardware with a screwdriver. I'm just going to sit the hardware aside until the end. I'm also going to paint the hardware either a black or a brown. And then I'll just reattach it at the end. Also, I'm not going to remove the cabinet doors this time. Normally I would, but I figured... It wouldn't be so bad, so I'm just gonna paint the whole thing with the cabinet doors on. Next, you see here, I am priming the inside of this cabinet. I really like an overall finished look. I know sometimes, and I see people, they don't paint the inside of their projects. I am the type where I like to see the inside painted, so when I open that drawer or that cabinet door, it looks clean and finished. So that's what you see me doing here. I am painting the um, inside walls of the cabinet. So the inside is done and I am sanding the top of this dresser. I didn't sand the whole thing because I'm using chalk paint and I'm just gonna paint right over top and I kinda like that uneven look of chalk paint, especially for the idea that I have in mind. So I'm just sanding the original finish or the original paint off of the top. It is coming off extremely easy. I am. I'm using a little bit of pressure on the sander, but not a lot, and it's just lifting right off, as you can see. So that it was really easy to sand this project and move on to the staining part. furniture you know this part I really love this part about flipping furniture is the staining is I don't know why but it's really fun so right here I'm just staining the top I can't remember off the top of my head which stain this is but I will put it in the description box so right here I'm just using a sponge and I'm applying even coats to the top of the dresser and also to the sides of the dresser and I'm going to do two coats and I'm going to let, I'm going to wipe the first coat off right away and then I'm going to do the second coat and I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. is the finished look after the two coats of stain and after I let the second coat sit for about 10 minutes I wiped it off and I love the results very happy another fun part about flipping furniture is the actual painting of course right here I am painting the cabinet doors I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing um, so this is just a white chalk paint that I'm using and it goes on pretty nicely as you can see it is from folk art I believe and I've been using this paint for a while now it's very thick I've had this one this one was honestly just sitting around so I decided to use this one as I'm painting the side of the dresser and also painting painting the trim I'm not paying particular close attention to the edges, I don't want to get directly on the edge just because I'm not using the right brush for that. So I'm going to go in with a smaller detailed brush and really get close to those edges. 
And this is after one coat of paint. I did do two coats of paint on this cabinet, but I just wanted to show you guys, give you guys a nice idea of what it looked like after one coat. To jump right back in, I've now coated the dresser with two coats of paint, let it dry, and now I am just wet distressing um, the trim of the dresser. And I've also already went in with that detailed brush to get close to the rim. So I'm just using a wet rag that I had laying around. Um, and as you can see, it's coming off pretty easily. And I'm just applying pressure as I use the rag to just gently rub across the rub across the cabinet edge. doing the same thing here just at the top of the cabinet I really want to get that weathered look that kind of old vintage look so the paint is coming off pretty easily on the side of the dresser the wet rag was not working as good as I wanted it on the side of the dresser so I just took a small piece of sandpaper and I just took little small sections where I wanted to distress it and I just wiped it off and gave it nice weather a nice weather look as I said before I like a nice clean finished look on the inside of my project so I decided I'm going to line these drawers and I just had some paper laying around so I used some spray adhesive and I applied that liner to the top and bottom drawer and this is just a video of when I after I laid it down very smooth very flat last but not least I am just applying a thin coat of polyurethane to this dresser voila this is the finished look i am so proud of how this cabinet came out i absolutely love it i absolutely adore it i think i'm going to keep this one for myself yeah i actually am <laughs> i decided just now this is going to go in my entryway so i love this cabinet it is so beautiful and this is the before after and i want to know what you guys think so like comment subscribe share do whatever email me <laughs> uh, I really want to know I'm so proud of this project I really love it I wish I would have done videos for some of the other projects I've done in the past of course this was my first YouTube video I plan on do doing more so let me know what you think thanks guys bye